हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस इज क्लास सेवन साइंस चैप्टर थ्री फाइबर टू फैब्रिक इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल द एन सी ए आर टी टेक्सट बुक एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन अलॉन्ग विद देयर आंसर्स Let's start with question number one. You must be familiar with the following nursery rhymes. The first one, Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? And the second one, Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Answer the following. Part A. Which parts of the black sheep have wool? Answer. The skin of the black sheep has fur-like hairs mainly at the back and abdomen known as fleece or wool. part b what is meant by the white fleece of the lamb answer white fleece of the lamb refers to the white color of their fur question number 2 The silk worm is a a caterpillar b a larva Choose the correct option option 1 a option 2 b option 3 both a and b option 4 neither a nor b answer it is both a and b option number 3 it means both a caterpillar as well as larva explanation the silk yarn or thread is obtained from the cocoon of the silk moth the larvae that hatch of the eggs are called caterpillars or silk worm question number 3 which of the following does not yield wool option 1 yak option 2 camel option 3 goat option 4 woolly dog answer it's option 4 woolly dog explanation the salish wool dog or woolly dog is an extinct breed of white long haired spitz type dog and its hair are not used as wool Question number 4 What is meant by the following terms First term is rearing The process of raising feeding breeding and taking medical care of useful animals for commercial purposes is known as rearing second term shearing the process of removing the fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin is called shearing
third term is sericulture the rearing of silk worms for obtaining silk is called sericulture question number 5 given below is a sequence of steps in the processing of wool which are the missing steps add them shearing dash sorting dash and dash let's have a quick look at the different steps which are involved in getting wool from sheep starting from rearing and breeding then shearing then washing or scoring after that sorting then comes step number 5 carding dyeing spinning and finally weaving as we are already aware about all these steps which are involved in the production of wool we can easily fill up the correct word in the blanks starting with shearing the next step will be washing or scoring then sorting after that carding or separation of burs and finally dyeing question number 6 make sketches of the two stages and the life history of the silk moth which are directly related to the production of silk let us first look at the life cycle of silk moth before deciding the two important stages for the production of silk starting with adult moth female moth lays many tiny eggs then we get larva caterpillars feed on mulberry leaves for about 3 to 4 weeks each of them then spins a cocoon around itself and we get the cocoon the caterpillar changes into a pupa inside the cocoon and finally we again get the adult moth after knowing about this complete life cycle of silk moth we can very easily find out the two important or significant steps for the production of silk are the formation of larva and cocoon hence the answer two stages in the life history of the silk moth which are directly related to the production of silk are larva and cocoon Question number seven. Out of the following, which are the two terms related to silk production? Starting with sericulture, floriculture, moriculture, apiculture, and silviculture. students here different different cultures are mentioned however our aim is to find the two cultures which are related to silk 
production. The correct two cultures are sericulture and moriculture. Let's look at the explanatory part. Sericulture, as we all know, is the rearing of silkworms for obtaining silk is called sericulture. As far as moriculture is concerned, the scientific name of mulberry is Morris alba. Moriculture is the process of mulberry cultivation for silk production because silkworm rear on it. Moriculture may be defined as plants and harvesting its leaves further. Hence, we can conclude the raw silk industry is dependent upon sericulture and sericulture on the other hand is dependent on moriculture. Students, let me remind you these explanatory parts are mentioned here just for understanding the answers better. It is not mandatory for you to write them down in your Answers. Question number 8. Match the items given in column 1 with that in column 2. A table is given here with two different columns, column 1 and column 2. Different different items are listed down below both of them. Let's quickly match the correct option from column 2 with that of column 1. Starting with the terms written under column 1. The first one, scoring. It means option E. That is cleaning sheared skin. Again, under column 1, mulberry leaves. It is correctly matched with option C. That is food of silk worm. The third one, yak. The correct option, B, wool yielding animal. And lastly, the fourth one. It is cocoon. Cocoon means which yields silk fibers. Hence, option A. Question number 9. Given below is a crossword puzzle based on this lesson. Use hints to fill in the blank spaces with letters that complete the words. The, the hints which are given are down denoted with capital D and across denoted with capital A. Under down the first hint is thorough washing. The second is animal Fiber. Third is long thread like structure. Whereas under capital A, that is across, the first hint is keeps warm. Second one, its leaves are eaten by silkworms. And third, hatches from egg of moth. This crossword puzzle is given to us. If you see clearly, some denominations are already given here. As 1a, 2a, 3a. These are for the words which we have to fill across. However, denominations such as 
1D, 2D and 3D will be for the words which we will write downward. Using the hints which are already given in our question, we have figured out all the words. Starting with the word which we have to fill in 1D, 2D and 3D. The first one is thorough washing. It means score. Second, animal fiber. It is silk. Third, long thread like structure. We are already aware it is fiber. After finding all the words which will come in 1D, 2D and 3D, let us quickly check all the words which we will be filling in 1A, 2A and 3A. Starting with the first one, keeps warm. Yes, it is wool. Second, its leaves are eaten by silk worms. Yes, it is mulberry. Third, hatches from egg of moth. It's caterpillar. You can see here, we have filled all the words which we just figured out and hence the crossword table is complete. Students, that's all for this video. Thank you.